Bale, uh, good morning and welcome to uh, the mock interview today. You can yes, see sir. you can see three of us uh, on the screen on your screen. Sir, I can see I can see just you, sir. No, make some some changes in your system. You will see three of us. Oh yes, sir. All right. So, Bale, uh, 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 before I interact with you, uh, can you please tell us about yourself, your academic qualifications and your work experience, if any, and uh, your main hobbies, very briefly. Uh, my name is Vale Vaidya. I belong to Vadodara. I have been, I was born in Rajkot, but raised in, raised in Vadodara. I've done my B.Tech from Dhirubhai Ambani Institute of Information and Communication Technology in the field of Information and Communication Technology. After my graduation, I started preparing for UPSC and eventually succeeded in 2019 in the GPSC, the Gujarat Public Administration Service in the Gujarat Administrative Service. So since past 1.5 years, I have been serving as the probationer deputy collector in the state of Gujarat, currently posted at uh, Godra Panch Mahal. Uh, my hobbies include reading books mainly. I also like to click photos, but that is an amateur photography, mainly symmetrical photography. Uh, other than that, uh, I uh, I also like to uh, listen to music and everything. So, Very. so uh, Vale, you are from the land of Gandhi. Yes, sir. So tell me, uh, just, uh, you know, identify the Gandhi trail right from his birth, wherever he, whatever, whenever, wherever he went in Gujarat and whatever is the, uh, you know, the importance of his, uh, of his stay in, in Gujarat, starting from his birth. Sir, uh, Mahatma Gandhi was born in Porbandar. Uh, he did most of his schooling in the state of Rajkot, where his father was posted as Divan of uh, the then king uh, in the princely state of Rajkot. After that, during after his graduation here, he went to pass the bar in England. And after doing his graduation in law, he went to uh, South Africa for a uh, case purposes. After that, when he returned to India in 1916, he again traveled to entire India, including Gujarat, where he happened to visit most of the places like uh, Ahmedabad, Vadodara, as well as the famous Dandi Yatras. Uh, this, uh, this, his visit to Gujarat, especially after his coming back from South Africa, was significant in the sense that it was, first of all, sir, it was the beginning of uh, Satyagra uh, with the Ahmedabad mill strike. Uh, and his subsequent fast to make sure that the laborers of Ahmedabad Mill uh, got his uh, got their due. Uh, so that was one, sir. Secondly, sir, the Bardoli Satyagra and Bardoli, uh, sorry, sir, uh, the Bardoli Satyagra made sure that the farmers' interests were pr at the prime in the uh, movement of independence. Uh, thirdly, sir, the Dandi March in the 1931 uh, that was also significant in ensuring that the local the british are struck hardest where it matters because salt being the prime commodity used by all the common people of india when he tried to defy when he defied the salt laws of the existing time he passed a message that we could strike at the bottom of uh, the uh, british empire which which lied on the uh, miseries of the common people even in the context of say food like uh, salt it's as such. So, sir, his overall stay uh, made sure that the overall path of the independence movement shifted from the elites of the national movement to the people at the ground. Okay. So, uh, uh, Vade, uh, yes, sir. you have done a BTEC in ICT. Yes, sir. Now, with 5G, you know, knocking on the door and with the uh, information technology, all the, the new uh, innovations and disruptions and modern technologies, how do you think it will help the economy of Gujarat? You are part of Gujarat state government in the administration uh, at the district level. 
sir 5g technology and the overall development of it can first of all be helped to make sure sir district level in administration first of all sir uh, with regard to land records so land records if they are integrated with the technology like blockchain can be used immensely to make sure that the uh, the mutations happen legally and with appropriate safeguard so that uh, Uh, frivolous litigations and everything can be reduced and the corruption cases can be reduced secondly sir the overall uh, surveillance of the uh, surveillance activity when it comes to say a pandemic or even a security surveillance can be enhanced uh, it is not just pertaining to the invasion of privacy as such but at the same time making sure that the uh, security of the people can be enhanced sir through cctv cameras through the internet of things and everything sir the artificial intelligence can be utilized to make sure that uh, the service delivery can be targeted and to make sure that the supply chain can be managed in such a way that the allocation of sup- uh, supplies are smartly done so for example sir uh, in the case of vaccine uh, uh, we can identify from the data and from artificial intelligence as to which phc in my district would require maximum num- amount of uh, vaccines in the times to come Uh, based on the data of existing vaccination and the overall population over there well uh, uh, tell me uh, this uh, uh, g7 yes sir is uh, starting today now what are the main agendas at this point in time uh, after covid second wave what are the main agendas of G7 for this summit or meeting, and what is going to be India's role in the this G7 group meeting, and what are likely to be of interest to India in this G7? Have you understood the question? Yes, sir. Sir, the large agendas <coughs> that I have uh, mostly read over. are the, the uh, first of all sir the uh, re establishment of the supply chain globally to make sure that the dip- disruption that happened during the covid time can be addressed secondly sir the covid vaccination uh, in the field of vaccination the there is a need of global co- cooperation so that the uh, vaccine inequity as well as the overall supply chain of vaccine can be shifted from the developed countries to the developing countries so sir that is also on the agenda and thirdly sir it is to ensure that the post covid world order is remain uh, remains democratic and inclusive in nature so sir largely these are the agendas secondly sir the india's role and india's interest in it uh, sir india's interest in it lies first of all in the vaccine diplomacy so that india can secure uh, vaccines for itself and to make sure that the overall global south as a leader of global south india can advocate for uh, vaccine in equity in the global south secondly sir the over india is gaining its presence in the global supply chain in the global value chain sir so with a resilient global supply chain india would make sure india would be able to identify and plug the gaps whichever which have opened during the covid time to make sure that india's economic integration with the global economy strengthens okay so well i pass on to mr khanna he will interact with you now yes sir good morning well good morning sir can you hear me clearly yes sir uh, so well five years uh, you have worked in administration gujarat uh, administration isn't it sir 1.5 years 1.5 yes sir all right and uh, tell me why why you want to become a civil servant what all uh, you see over and above your present job sir uh, first of all the reason behind why i would want to be a, be a civil servant first of all the level of exposure and the kind of work that i have gotten to do in just 1.5 years of my service has ranged over ranged over different aspects and fields sir so that sort of exposure is very exciting and it just make sure that the job as such that i am i have been doing or i would want to do is not boring enough uh, secondly sir the reason why i would want to shift from this service to the other civil services of the upsc uh, sir 
first of all, the career prospects. Uh, because this is a Group B service. So, of course, Group A level at the state level, but in context of the central services, it is a Group B service. So, the promotional prospects are very much limited. So, I would want to shift to a Group A service. Secondly, sir, uh, there is a also, sir, a problem of late recognition in this service. In the sense that, sir, if I want to be an IAS in this service, it would take me around 15 to 20 years. So the kind of leadership role that I aspire in the administration, mm -hmm. I would get only after 20 years. And uh, in the UPSC uh, civil services, I would be able to don that position quite early, earlier than the GPSC civil services. But you have filled up IFS as your first choice. Yes, sir. IAS as your second and IPS as your third. So yes, any, any special reasons for uh, this preference? Uh, sir, uh, I, sir, my optional subject is PSIR, Political Science and International Relation. So while studying that in last four years, sir, I have developed that I have a keen inclination towards the foreign affairs. So, sir, first of all, that is the reason why I would want to pursue foreign service as my first preference. Secondly, sir, I think it would give me a global exposure in my, and that would be, that would help me professionally as well as personally to make sure that I, as an individual also grow, uh, and uh, thirdly, sir, I have realized and I have in fact interacted with uh, some of the diplomats as well as, as well as some of the senior IAS where uh, they have also agreed to it that uh, IFS, sir, at times also provides an early opportunity to policy making, sir, which may not be the case in the other services. So, sir, it's not like a secondary choice, the IAS and the IPS, but it's like a second choice. So... So the IFS, that's why, sir, I put it okay. at first preference. Fine. So as a diplomat, what would be your uh, most important uh, duties? Just list out four important roles as a diplomat that you think uh, are the most important for Indian yes, diplomats. Sir. Uh, sir, first of all, establishing channels of communication and continuing it. Secondly, sir, it is negotiations with the other country, with the, with the other party. Thirdly, sir, it is uh, making sure that India's interests are prime. Whenever I go out in public, whenever I speak in public or whenever I behave in public. So, sir, that is a foremost duty because even a behavior can mm -hmm. change uh, the other country's perception towards a nation. And fourthly, sir, it would be to make sure that the overall political and economic development or the social development that is happening in a country where I would be posted to communicate those uh, uh, those those act, those incidents and events and to analyze them in context of India's diplomacy and India's social economic structure and to make sure that I brief my country and their representatives back home uh, regarding those. I I didn't hear anything on. Uh... Protecting, securing, ensuring that India's uh, uh, integrity and sovereignty is intact by all your actions. I think that should come as number one. Yes, sir. Okay, India, its sovereignty, security, and integrity yes, at any cost. So redefine your uh, role and read it again. Because yes, you, you need to uh, very correctly bring out what a diplomat is expected to do. Okay, I find you, you are from Dhiru Bhai Ambani University. Yes, sir. Okay. So tell me what is Dhiru Bhai Ambani's contribution to uh, Indian share market? Sir, I'm sorry, I'm not very... I've heard some of the incidents that happened, but I'm not very sure about his actual contribution to the share market. So I would not want to guess. Okay, then tell me, uh, you are an ICT graduate. Can artificial intelligence be used in stock market to maximize the stocks? And uh, what is the future of stock markets world over when AI is going to take over? Everything becomes sir, predictable uh, in that case? Sir, not everything can become predictable, sir. But uh, there is 
an element of predictability that can certainly come sir so sir I, I, artificial intelligence can further boost the algorithm trading that is that currently happens but it would become more smart sir and sir secondly there is a possibility that the uh, the, the the volatility of the stock market may again rise if the artificial intelligence is to come because sir if mm -hmm. the information fed in the artificial intelligence algorithm is wrong then it would also uh, uh, work in the reverse direction and there is a possibility of wrong sort of trades wrong short selling and so on okay 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 fine prime minister talked of uh, looking after the wealth creators and the budget provided a number of concessions for the wealth creators dheeru bhai ambani uh, so what are these concessions given by the dia sir i am sorry your voice got cut in the middle <clears throat> prime minister uh, talked of importance and relevance of wealth creators yes sir and in the recent budget certain concessions were also given to the wealth creators so can can you list out some of these uh, concessions that were given um, sir i'm sorry i cannot uh, think of any okay, okay no, no problem uh, you think india has achieved uh, certain diplomatic ob objectives during last uh, uh, decade or so what are these uh, achievements of india on the diplomatic front during last one decade uh sir yes certainly we have achieved lot many objectives of ours first of all was to make sure that india's presence is not only felt but it is it, its voice is also heard sir so currently india india's voice is heard very much so in various forums say united nations the overall uh, uh, defense architecture the global economy like in the case of g7 where we, we are currently invited mm -hmm. secondly sir we are global nuclear architecture has also shifted in in the favor of india with nsg waiver despite not being a mem member of nsg following the india us civil nuclear deal uh, thirdly sir india has ensured that uh, its participation is in, in various global forums like sir mtcr uh, the uh, missile technology control regime or the wasenar group or the australian group uh, these uh, uh, agreements these uh, sorry grouping sir these groupings india has participated india has become a member of these groups uh, fourthly sir india has also become a non permanent member of un security council and won the place with the highest ever possible uh, sir margin so that is uh, also a good feat in india's diplomacy in the last decade uh, other than that sir india's role as has become more assertive and india now defends its economic political and social and uh, diplomatic interests across the forums be it jahabar in afghanistan or middle east where the afghanistan imbroglio is uh, unfolding itself sir india yeah, has been what about sorry? international court of justice anything happened there sir uh, yes sir in fact sir the kulbushan yadav case where india rightfully won the case and sir recently enough uh, pakistan act to pass a legislation uh, legislation uh, in the name of icj bill 2021 okay. to okay okay let's uh, quickly move to black lives matter movement had gandhi been alive what would have been the shape of this movement Sir, had Gandhi and, been alive? And uh, let me let me just add one more thing that during this movement, certain statues of Gandhi were destroyed in South Africa. So you think uh, he would have viewed this movement differently? <clears throat> uh, sir, if Gandhi specifically instructed that do not do not hate the enemy, love the enemy. So even if people destroyed his own. Uh, statues he would not have hated them uh, definitely so secondly i think 
the black lives matter basically stood for the historical injustices and the overall injustices that is being prevailed against the blacks so sir in, uh, gandhi also supported the historical injustices uh, uh, sorry sir the fight against the historical injustices against the dalits and the downtrodden sir in india and across the world sir so i think sir the movement that would have uh, changed had gandhi been here would be more pressure on more focus on sir the non violence aspect of it we have seen people attacking police officers in us on the streets but had gandhi been leading or even present during this time uh, during the black lives movement so that those sort of incidents would have uh, been less secondly sir it would have made sure that the overall message of black lives matter so maybe there are some groups which might be controlling this entire movement but had gandhi been present the power of this movement would have 100% or largely would be in the control of uh, sir the masses so that would make it more democratic and more decentralized in in nature sir okay okay last question uh, before i pass on to my friend you have heard of these private uh, space flights such as spacex and black uh, blue uh, blue origin so what is the purpose of these space flights from uh, technology point of view how important are these space flights and what do you think will be achieved in technological sir, uh, sir overall space technology development has largely been in the hands of the government ag- agencies so if the private private space flights are also encouraged it would democratize the uh, technology development in this field secondly sir the technology would become more affordable for not just countries but also for the private organization in future if they want to send something uh, in the uh, space thirdly sir it would also reduce the burden of the government to spend entirely in the space development and space uh, uh, exploration sir the private since we have many private companies and uh, many private players who are economically sustainable and independent enough sir who would be able to contribute uh, to this endeavor equally sir okay over to you uh, mr sumesh okay good morning wale good morning sir yes i see that uh, you have appeared for a csc interview previously also yes sir so can you tell me how much you scored <clears throat> there sir i scored 165 okay so what went wrong uh so i was under confident first i there are some moments where i panicked during the interview where i think i should have answered more or less in some topics and which i could not okay so now you are well prepared sir i am in the process of preparing well sir okay okay fine so uh, first of all uh, can you tell me uh, how gujarat's model of development is different from uh, other states development models uh, sorry gujarat's developmental model largely bases based itself on the economic development and the economic development led growth towards the other sectors as well so india has been focusing on material infrastructure like the roads the bridges the electricity uh, the ports and so on sir and the, these physical infrastructure once established they then start do of course simultaneously also but at the same time once they focus on physical infrastructure development and then they shift over to the uh, social infrastructure like the schools colleges uh, hospitals the healthcare system and everything sir and the other other states there are other states where uh, there is, there is very limited amount of growth say in the northeastern states or the hindi heartland states sir but at the same time did the, did the southern states have focused more on the social infrastructure and the social development uh, compared to the physical uh, development and the economic development sir uh, sir minus the state of tamil nadu which has focused on both these sectors in much detail sir okay let's move on to your optional subject uh, which is psir yes, sir okay uh, can you tell me which political thinker inspired you the most and why so i think js mill inspired me the most 
the reason being first of all he has been an unequivocal unequivocal supporter of uh, freedom of speech and expression secondly sir he believes that the nature of truth is such that the truth truth would anyway emerge sir and i also believe the same uh, because i believe that lie, speaking lie or not allowing someone to speak would not be able we would not be able to contain the truth uh, by doing so i mean the truth is anyway going to emerge sir so i think sir this idea where he st- stands fast for the civil liberties uh, so that is something that has inspired me a lot okay fair enough uh, can you tell me the difference between a nation and a country sir country is more of a procedural term where any territory can be declared a country by say international agreement by making sure that it becomes a nation state uh, with sovereignty and everything but at the same time so the nation as such uh, is more of an emotional and substantive term so nation would not just mean that there is a territory certain territory and some people living in it but it would also it also shows that these people have some sort of emotional connect with that territory with that with among each other and even uh for themselves and in themselves sir okay, so is india a nation or a country or both sir india is a nation state sir so okay so you are currently uh, serving as deputy collector in panchmahal yes sir okay good so let us say you are a district collector in uh, a district of uttar pradesh or let us say bihar where people are very much hesitant Uh, to take vaccination so as a deputy collector how will you remove this vaccination hesitancy among people of your district uh sir there are certain steps that i have observed uh during my role in the vaccination drive and overall countering of uh, vaccine hesitancy i think these steps would also help there in the district of uttar pradesh so first of all i would have to go on the ground to make sure that i interact with the stakeholders i need to interact with uh, the stakeholders as in the citizens the 45 plus citizens and 60 plus citizens who are the most uh, hesitant secondly sir i have i would have to make sure that i make a, a micro planning of vaccination drive so as to make sure that where the maximum number of people have not taken the vaccines so that would make sure sir that i identify the region where i need to tackle the vaccine hesitancy third of all sir the social messaging and social persuasion through various means like say play street plays so in panchmal sir we have the system of uh, playing dhol nagara and uh, uh, announcing some message in public so sir that model can also be uh, de- uh, can be replicated in the districts of uttar pradesh so then there are auto rickshaws uh with microphone in it and where a person sitting there spreads this message of vaccine uh, importance and where the vaccine is available sir that has helped us a lot in uh, three of our villages in panchmal to make sure that large people come out and vaccinate it themselves so sir that these sort of steps can be utilized and sir the political and social leaders of that re- region especially the sarpanches and overall volunteers the political volunteers over there they have a good hold over their population sir they can also be encouraged to make sure that the people are mobilized in, a, in the direction of uh, vaccine sir so so these are the steps that i think can help us counter the vaccine hesitancy sir okay well so you, i see uh, you have done information and communication technology right yes sir okay so one last question for my side uh, can you tell me uh, uh, in the telecom sector are we moving towards some sort of monopoly or not and why sir i would not call it monopolistic tendencies at the moment because it is more about infusing more competition in it first of all it appears that there is a monopoly because there is one player and harnessing all the players but then there is there are other players also sir which are cross uh, crossing the single largest player uh and making sure that their customers come back to the original subscribers sir so no because sir the overall internet internet uh, prices of across the sectors have come down 
there are many people who have come back to the original subscribers because of the price of rise in the single most uh, uh, dominant market player so they have also risen their prices of uh, services so the people have come back to their original players and thirdly sir we have a competition commission of india we have our own uh, finance ministry and the telecom ministry which make sure that the uh, monopolistic tendencies do not happen and they uh, take proper safeguards to ensure that the one single player cannot dominate dominate the market so i think these are the reasons sir why i think we are not really going towards the monopolistic tendency okay fair enough i pass on to chairman sir yes sir so vale uh, you had mentioned in one of your replies that uh, about freedom of expression and speech yes sir now what has happened in the recent past about the embargo on twitter and uh, facebook and other social media channels uh, do you think it is an unnecessary curb and embargo uh, and infringement of the right of the freedom of speech and expression uh, from your point of view sir no i do not think it is an unnecessary uh, embargo on these platforms because these platforms also bear bear some sort of responsibility and a role to play in the larger uh, political and civil liberties of the people sir secondly it is important to uh, analyze sir that uh, the, these players no one this are the government asked for some compliance with regards to some uh, technological features in these platforms and to uh, comply to the guidelines that it has provided so it does not direct, directly relate to the people as such the people were not asked not to tweet the twitter as such was asked to comply with some guidelines sir so it is not really a direct embargo on people's right to speech and expression sir and sir thirdly the implications of it uh, is that sir it would make sure that the in, in the increased set of environment where the hate speech and the anonymous speeches are very common where people would be targeting each other uh, name calling them and so on sir it is important for india's national security and the overall security architecture also to make sure that we find the root cause of the various sort of problems that is existing because of social media sir so that's why sir it was important to place some sort of an embargo sir okay so well there was another happening the sedition cases against many people including journalists which has been struck down by the honorable supreme court what do you say about this situation uh so sedition cases should be certainly the freedom uh, of speech and expression i my question is in continuation to the freedom of speech i gave one example about facebook and twitter the second example is sedition cases against some journalist how do you react to this kind of curb on freedom sir sedition cases sir i do believe that they need to be reduced uh, in fact sir the sedition as such is a colonial era era law so that there are many countries which do not have sedition laws like the western democracies so sir that law can certainly be uh, can be toned down and can be uh, reduced in its nature secondly sir i also feel that in some cases where the journalists have deliberately Uh, written some issues uh, which would uh, fire some some of the social fault lines so sir those journalists and those newspapers can also be dealt with uh, certain laws sir for example sir in a couple of years ago sir there was a leading newspaper article which uh, published a defense ministry report without even uh, in fact by uh, stealing that report from the newspaper so sir, such sort of activities are also happening so some sort of sir regulation is also required there yes not sedition but some sort of re- regulation to make sure that the freedom of expression is not uh, used to make sure that all that the social fault lines are exploited or even the fake news are peddled sir okay. so well uh, we have asked you quite a few questions any subject any topic which we may not have covered and you would like us to ask uh, you a question uh, from that topic sir my hobby sir okay so i uh, okay now i would refer to your participative 
covid management that you you did uh, can you explain what is this participative covid management that you led sir this was happened this happened in the first wave of covid 19 last year so this was a software that i had developed to make sure that the all the possible high risk individuals in my district firstly the comorbids the people with influenza like illness people that we find from the uh, door to door survey and having these ili sir the influenza like illness people and all these people we would bring them on a single platform and I, we had developed a control room where we had a set of people say six people who would call them every day to make sure that if they have developed any other symptoms or not and if they have developed any other symptoms these people would be shifted from say low risk category to high risk category the red zone and these people would then be referred to the respective uh, taluka health officers who would then get them tested sir so it was to make sure that the surveillance activity in this covid time was strengthened and to make sure that we have an early detection of cases among these high risk patients sir so uh, well that uh, closes our uh, formal interview <laughs>
so everything is emerging out of dhiru bhai ambani then ai is stock market your reply was very good very good because a small mistake in ai algorithm can lead to big blunders so that you caught the point then diplomatic achievement of india i had to remind you a couple of them and still it was not complete so that means diplomatic achievement of india during last uh, decade there have been numerous but highlight five or six most important ones what you highlighted were not the most important ones okay so they were there but then uh, in limited time you have to improve then i highlight your reply on black lives matter gandhi gandhi's perspective on the same okay he would never have permitted violence and breaking of uh, statues but at the same time he would have ensured that this uh, message goes across okay so connect with his philosophies and yes, see sir. how he would have tackled a black life uh, matters Hmm? he had gone on satyagraha he had gone on uh, various other missions so think about it yes sir then uh, private space flight as a ict graduate you should know that these private space flights are basically for a satellite to promote 5g technology which will be optic fiber free technology so i was expecting this one reply that they are investing billions of dollars so that they can be ahead of any other uh, uh, businessman uh, in catching up the 50% of the global population which is still not covered by internet hmm. okay yes, so that uh, i expected a better reply so i think overall uh, you were able to touch upon the points but uh, quality of reply can definitely be improved you have uh, good yes, quality but you must improve your depth of uh, knowledge and information on your technical side everything yes, about dev dhiru bhai ambani means be clear share market what is the stock price what is sensex what is the oil price today why it is going up uh, to 52000 what is the logic you know i could have discussed on this for a long long time because dhiru bhai ambani is there on your list yes sir so read about it okay. chali sir so i am sure you you can do much much better uh, and today was not bad only thing is that uh, i expected a, a more depth in reply that's all yes sir we know ji what do you yeah. know? so bale uh, uh, khanna sahab has very uh, comprehensively made the assessment and i totally share uh, his uh, overall view about your performance and specific to the questions i mean he he had asked i would also add something from my side you see you have a you have a pleasing personality impressive now this is the positive side you you looked confident uh, you were fluent most of the time uh, even in those questions where you were not very sure or maybe you were not very the quality of content which we thought was not good there also you did not show any feeling of being uh, diffident or you know uh, defensive Uh, or maybe you know you stopped in between so that way you have got uh, you know you would get good uh, assessment in your main interview as far as your personality part is concerned right now coming to the content which uh, uh, khanna sahab has also flagged i would also like to just add in order to improve you further right yes sir now there are certain things which are relevant to the question which are specific to the question that i asked and there are some few things which you keep you have to keep in mind irrespective of the question that may be asked because not necessarily the same question will be asked from you 
But coming to the first part, uh, for example, uh, you were a bit longish in your answers. Your answers were slightly longer. Now, when I asked you about Gandhi Ji, you know, I you should listen to the question very carefully, and always remember that in any question, by default, the interview board would not like you to expand your answer, uh, you know, to a very great length, and be as brief as possible. So yeah. this should be in your mind by default. You know, board is asking me something which. you know they don't mean uh, that i should give a complete account of gandhi ji's life and all right and that was my intention also so i specifically mentioned gandhi's trail in gujarat hmm. now you may have to give reference about he is going to london south africa but then you stretched it too far you should have started with porbandar you should have come to rajkot and then straight away after he did his barrister or did his south africa whatever he came back to gujarat and he stayed in sabarmati or he participated in bardoli and likewise so you had to restrict sabarmati you missed you mentioned ahmedabad ahmedabad in today's world has relevance but that time ahmedabad was not so much sabarmati Mm. and yes, gandhi are linked with each other so you missed out sabarmati so suppose when as i had mentioned that as far as your daf is concerned you must be very thorough in your daf matlab aapko gujarat aapka rajkot gandhi pe question nishchit aana hai ab gandhi ji se related aap kuch bhi kar le chahe maine aapko gandhi trail poocha khanna saab ne bhi kuch aap se poocha kuch non violence ki baat aa sakti hai gandhi ki relevance aaj ke tarikh mein aa sakti hai और एलिमेंट इज गांधी कोविड होता और गांधी होते तो क्या क्या होता यू नो हाउ वुड यू ग्लोबल जो आज प्रॉब्लम चल रही है हाउ वुड गांधी इज रेलिवेंट टू ऑल दो इकोनॉमिक सोशल एंड यू नो नेशनल प्रॉब्लम्स सो गांधी पे पूरी रिसर्च कर लो आप एक क्वेश्चन कम से कम जरूर आएगा क्योंकि आप राजकोट से हैं इसलिए आई है स्कूल वेर गांधी इज स्टडी यू नो आपसे ये भी पूछ सकते हैं आपने कोई देखा पोरबंदर आई हैव बीन टू टू पोरबंदर बट डिड नॉट हैव टाइम विजिट वेयर ही 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 वाज वाज बोर्न सो एक तो ये दूसरा <coughs> आपने जब आपसे डिस्ट्रिक्ट पॉइंट वाइज रिप्लाई पूछा गया हाउ वुड यू कंट्रोल इन यूपी और बिहार तो आपने एक बार तो चलिए कह दिया कि मैंने जो पंचमहल में जो मैंने एक्सपीरियंस लिया उसको मैं अप्लाई करूंगा but in every step that you said you will take you referred back to panchmel humne wahan aisa kiya hum wahan aisa karenge humne wahan aisa kiya we will do that you could avoid wale okay okay you just yes. mentioned because in the question there was a reference of your being a deputy collector in panchmel so one relevance one reference was necessary yes sir as deputy collector i have done covid management also and i had to use if i were in bihar or up district i would do this 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 and also well just to make you score more marks you know you mentioned all the points very well lekin kya hota hai ki kaun sa point kis pe overlap ho jata hai wo narrative pata nahi lagta हमेशा याद रखो जब कोई स्टेप्स की बात आए या आपसे कहा जाए कि आप क्या क्या यू नो फर्स्टली सर आई विल डू इट सेकेंडली थर्डली फोर्थली फिफ्थली यू नो इससे क्या होता है सेग्रीगेट हो जाता है ओवरलैपिंग नहीं होती और उसमें भी यू हैव टू बी शॉर्ट सी यू डोंट हैव टू एक्सप्लेन आफ्टर यू मेक अ पॉइंट डोंट एक्सप्लेन ओके सर मतलब एक्सप्लेनेशन इज नॉट नेसेसरी मतलब आप आप सामने जो ऑडियंस है वो एक्सप्लेनेशन की जरूरत नहीं है अनलेस यू आर आस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन द रीजंस दैट इज माय अनदर सजेशन फॉर यू योर बीटेक 5G एंड अदर ब्लॉकचेन सर्वेलेंस पेंडेमिक एआई एंड ऑल दे वर एक्सेलेंट सो योर आंसर क्वालिटी वाज वेरी गुड एंड दैट प्रूव्स दैट यू वर वेरएवर यू आर स्ट्रांग यू कुड आंसर वेरी वेल इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्वालिटी आल्सो 
Similarly, you answered very well when I asked you about your participative CMS. Because you have a visual 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 Which could have, could have be a very probable question, you know. अगर आज किसी का इंटरव्यू हो रहा हो यूपीएससी में सो निश्चित रूप से जी सेवन किसी ना किसी कैंडिडेट पे तो फंस था आपको पता था जी सेवन हो रहा है लेकिन आपने उसके जो जो एजेंडा पॉइंट है अच्छे से कवर नहीं किए जो पता था उसी को यू एक्सपेंडेड यू डिड नॉट मैंशन अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेंज यू डिड नॉट मैंशन अबाउट फेयर ट्रेड Hmm. you mentioned india india ki vaccine policy is not being discussed india is not even a member india has been called as a guest and three more four more countries have been uh, invited so it is basically to help the poor hmm. you know 90% of the countries who are poor they are they are going to take a call that how to help with vaccines to these poor countries india is not one of them इंडिया का रेलिवेंस ज्यादा क्वाड से था बिकॉज दे हैव कॉल्ड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड दे हैव कॉल्ड टू मोर साउथ अफ्रीका एंड मोर कंट्री एंड जापान एज मेंबर्स सो जापान एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड इंडिया एंड यूएस इज देयर सो इंडो पैसेफिक ओशन में ऑल्सो बी डिस्कस्ड यू नो इन जी सेवन सो दैट इज हाउ इंडिया इज रेलिवेंस तो थोड़ा सा आप उसकी डेप्थ में जाते सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द पॉइंट विच वी थॉट दैट Uh, uh, we would like to improve you. और कोई पॉइंट तो ध्यान में आ नहीं रहा uh, लेकिन आपने सिविल सर्विसेज का भी एक पॉइंट मैं आपको बता दू आपने सिविल सर्विस की बात तो कही क्वेश्चन भी ऐसा था कि आप यहाँ से वहां क्यों जाना चाहते हैं लेकिन आप अपने वर्तमान सर्विस को कंडेम मत करो मतलब या क्रिटिसाइज मत करो या इतना कंपेयर मत करो एक बार कर दो कि सर यहाँ पर ऐसा ऐसा है स्कोप इज लेस you come with the virtues of the civil services central civil services more usko condemn mat karo sir yahan to promotion hi nahi hai yahan to group b mein hum hain yahan to hum wohi bane rahenge deputy collector ya joint collector aisa mat karo uski bare mein jahan ja rahe ho uski badhai karo apne aap pata lag jayega ki bhai you are looking for your career prospects and better you know like so these are some of the points while we have considered you uh, Uh, around 61% today you know rate okay but jaisa khanna sahab ne kaha mera bhi firm belief hai ki aap mein potential hai aap aaram se 65 se 70 ke beech mein la sakte ho with these suggestions and some more depth of knowledge yes, sir. anything you would like to know from us sir you thank you so much sir the uh, sir the review was very comprehensive sir in fact sir question wise which is uh, not generally happen, not something that happens sir normally uh, sir last year matlab when i had given normally uh, we matlab sir the last year when i had given these interviews mock interviews the uh, the reviews were very generalistic sir your reviews were sir very comprehensive and question wise ki is question mein ye to that is sir very helpful sir Sure. So okay. whenever I go back to sir again the recording of this interview sir i would be able to identify ki ha yahan pe ye jo sir ne bola tha very good very good wale well, you you with this kind of feeling i am sure you are going to march ahead and will 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 come out with flying colors thank you so much sir i am sure wale well, you will do well you have very good personality just and cash it thank little you little more effort Definitely is that. required so don't leave any stone unturned prepare for cold war that is the latest uh, topic being discussed these days Cold yes, War Two, Cold War One, things like that. You know? Okay. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much, sir. All the best. Have well. a nice day, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.